So you have a home and you're thinking about selling it in the near or not so near future. Of course, you want to be sure to properly prep yourself and your home for this future sale. Hi, my name is Len Nevin with Loyalty Home Group at eXp Realty. And since 2003, I've been working with homeowners just like you that have gone through this exact same scenario. You know, a little prep work up front goes a very long way. So today I want to talk about when it's time to negotiate offers. You know, negotiating offers is absolutely a pivotal part of the real estate transaction process. As a seller, it's essential to be well prepared and equipped with effective negotiating strategies. And this video will provide you with valuable tips for negotiating with potential buyers, covering aspects such as price, contingencies, and terms. By mastering the art of the negotiation, you can secure a successful sale while protecting your interests. First and foremost, you're going to want to know your bottom line, right? Before entering negotiations, establish your bottom line, the lowest price that you're willing to sell your home for. This figure should Consider your financial goals, your home's market value, and your ability to compromise. Now let's talk about what happens when we go into the price negotiation. Price negotiation is often the focal point of real estate negotiations. It's the first thing we hit. Here's how to navigate this critical aspect. First, start strong, right? Begin negotiations with a competitive but reasonable asking price. Pricing too high can discourage potential buyers, and you'll actually end up helping sell your neighbor's house. Be flexible. Be prepared to make minor concessions without jeopardizing your bottom line. Small adjustments in price can bridge the gap between your initial asking price and the buyer's offers. Uh, we're going to want to respond thoughtfully. When responding, when rep, sorry, when presented with an offer, take time to analyze it thoroughly. Avoid reacting emotionally or hastily. And we're going to want to go respond quickly as well. Contingency negotiations. Now, buyers often include contingencies in their offers to protect the interest. Common contingencies include um, financing contingency. This is every, every contract that's right in there. Buyers might make their, you know, they're going to make their offer contingent about being able to secure the financing. We're going to be prepared to discuss the buyer's financial position. Are they able to buy the home? Inspection contingency. We barely see this wave. 99% of buyers want a home inspection. If they're getting a loan, there's going to be the appraisal contingency. If the pro home appraisal fails, or fall short of the offer price, be prepared to negotiate on price or challenge the appraisal. Home sale contingencies, another thing. We don't see as many of these, but buyers may need to sell something first before they can purchase your home. So let's be prepared and ready for when that time comes. Um, term negotiations. Um, term negotiations can include various factors such as the closing date, the possession date, um, you know, or even specific inclusions or exclusions. Here's some things to keep in mind. The closing date, you know, consider the buyer's preferred closing date and whether it aligns with your timeline. Sometimes they'll ask for something that they think you want. Sometimes it's what they want. Um, possession date is going to be another thing. When do they want to move in? When do they want to take possession? I personally try to avoid pre-closed possessions. Any inclusions or exclusions. So specify which fixtures or appliances will be included in the sale to avoid disputes later, especially smart devices. Um, stay professional and courteous. That's, I look at that as kind of like my job. Um, you know, it's not just about tactics, it's about maintaining professionalism and courtesy. You know, when we're doing that, we want to keep the following things in mind. My job is to actively listen, right? <clears throat> I'm going to listen carefully to the buyer's representative, their concerns and needs, showing that you value their input. We're going to maintain emotional control. We're going to keep our emotions in check during the negotiations. Emotional reactions can complicate the process. My job is to keep things neutral. We're going to, like I said, respond promptly. We don't want to have somebody sitting there waiting for a response for two to three days. There's no reason to, to hold off on answering back. Also, we're going to be willing to walk away. Sometimes the best negotiation tactic is just saying, all right, we're done. You know, th this doesn't meet what we're looking to do. We're going to walk away. Um, one of the things you're going to want to do is going to seek guidance from your real estate agent like myself. Um, your agent is a valuable resource in the negotiating process. They can provide expert insights, handle communication with the buyers, and offer strategies for achieving a favorable outcome. Wrapping up, um, you know, <clears throat> negotiating offers is a cru crucial aspect of selling your home. By understanding your bottom line, being flexible with your price, addressing these contingencies, negotiating terms effectively, maintaining professionalism, and seeking guidance from your agent, you can navigate the process with confidence and protect your interests. A successful negotiation can result in mutually beneficial agreement, which meets your financial goals, and it helps the buyer secure their dream home. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on this or any other topic, my contact information is below. 
please feel free to reach out. We get calls from people like you every single day. Until next time, have a great day.